Hi, I'm Siti Narisha as a dietitian from Morningstar Nutrition House. Did you know that from too much caffeine is rare but possible? A man in the UK died from a caffeine overdose after drinking a mixture containing the caffeine equivalent of several hundred cups of coffee, according to news report. The 29-year-old man, Tom Mansfield, was a personal trainer who had ordered a 100 gram bag of caffeine powder to use in supplement drinks, according to Yahoo News. However, when measuring the powder on a scale, he made an error that resulted in him consuming a fatal dose of caffeine. The recommended dose of caffeine powder was between 60 and 300 milligrams. But the scale Mansfield used had a starting weight of 2 grams, according to the BBC. This means Mansfield ended up consuming several grams of the powder, equivalent to up 200 cups of coffee, according to the BBC. Signs of caffeine toxicity might include a racing heart, sweating, seizures, vomiting, muscle tremors, and eventually respiratory collapse. In North America, coffee and tea are the major sources of caffeine in the adult diet, whereas caffeinated soft drinks and chocolates are the major sources of caffeine in the diet of children. Caffeine is naturally found in the fruits, leaves, and beans of coffee, cacao, and guarana plants. It is also added to beverage and supplements. Learn about sources of caffeine and a review of the research on this stimulant and help. Caffeine use is increasing worldwide. I would like to share the help of Effect Caffeine. Caffeine disrupt your sleep. Caffeine can cause a burst of energy as it stimulates the central nervous system. Most people drink coffee in the morning to help them wake up, but caffeine consumed at night can cause more harm than good. While caffeine can boost cognitive function in the severely fatigue, it cannot permanently ward off sleep or fix the effects of long-term sleep loss. Even though caffeine can marginally boost performance, it is no substitute for a restful, restorative night of sleep. Okay, for the next point, pregnancy and infertility. Caffeine may have a negative impact on pregnancy, fertility, glucose control, and other aspects of health. Studies have suggested that more than 300 mg a day of caffeine or the MI equal to around 3 cups of coffee could lead to loss of pregnancy, delay fetal growth, abnormal fetal heart rhythm. According to the National Institute of Health, the weeks before pregnancy also count. Research showed that if both parents consume more than two caffeinated drinks a day in the weeks before they conceive, a loss of pregnancy may be more. Women should limit their caffeine intake to 200 mg or less during pregnancy. Central nervous system stimulant and consuming too much caffeine can lead to symptoms of anxiety. One of its main mechanisms of action is to block adenosine receptors, causing increases in the dopamine, noradrenaline, and glutamate. In the cardiovascular system, this increases a person's blood pressure and heart rate. In the central nervous system, lower doses of caffeine can improve motor activity and alertness while higher doses can produce symptoms of anxiety. Consuming more than 400 mg at once may lead to feeling overstimulated and anxious and bring on symptoms such as racing heart, nausea, or abdominal pain. There are many different opinions from how this is a very healthy drink to that coffee present an extremely harmful mixture. So, what is the truth? The most accurate answer would be that 
both opinions are correct and that depending on the amount of ingested coffee it can be healthy but also harmful to our health caffeine is a very potent yet unrecognized drug although there are beneficial side effects to caffeine intake that negative effects clearly indicates that one should limit their caffeine consumption many major organ systems are adversely affected by high amounts of caffeine consumption age and diet are both factors in caffeine effects on the body young children and older people must be much more careful in monitoring their caffeine intake and should limit themselves to less than 100 mg of caffeine per day that's all from me today thank you and bye